So Jared, this project's a little different. This couple, Ashley and Sushil, don't have a house like full of stuff. They aren't starting over, over. They're just starting out. They were married four years ago. They met in college, oh. just like us. Yeah, right. They're probably gonna have kids soon. You know, they, this is their first home. We have started thinking about kids and we wanted to buy a house first to try to like, make space for it because in our one bedroom, it would have been very tough. <laughs> you know, they found this space, which apparently has great bombs. It's, this is it, right? This is the neighborhood. Yeah, we're coming up right here. Oh, I like the lines of it. I like it too. So Ashley and Sushil basically have this new home, but they have almost nothing that they're bringing with them. I'm coming in for a hug. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. I mean, they're at the beginning of their story. It's going to be so exciting. Chapter one. This Welcome. House. Whoa. <laughs> okay. I feel like I opened the door and went back in time. <laughs> I was just going to say that. Welcome to the 50s. This is amazing, you wow. guys. This is so cool. The shag rug, Whoa. the paneling. I love this house. <laughs> yes, because there's certain things when you walk in here you just can't find anymore. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, but yes. what was it about the house when you came the first time that you fell in love with? They had character. Yeah. Okay. We've seen so many houses and really? we were like, this is different. You're yeah, like, it was different than other kinds of houses, I guess. I guess the layout and stuff that mm -hmm. we've seen before. Yeah. So mm -hmm. sure. I love what you've done with the furniture yeah. in this space. You guys, this is really, <laughs> I feel like we know everything we know, need to know about you to just yeah. get started. Absolutely. Um, no, in all honesty, so what will this room be used for? I kind of mm -hmm. pictured this kind of as a more formal living room space. Yes. Okay. okay. At first I was like, oh, the wood. But then I really looked at this and I was like, we can make something with this. Like, yeah, I really yeah. enjoyed looking at this. <laughs> I guess if you can make it into something nice, let's okay. keep it. Yeah. Well, this is fun because part of the process is obviously we want to get to know you guys through your things. So I'm going to consider this to be a maybe or yeah. a keep. Okay. I'm gonna put one of my little it's sticky notes on me. it. We both immediately were like, we want to keep those built-ins, and they were game for that. Yeah, one of the first parts of our process is always identifying things that are really meaningful. Yes, Look yes. at the light. What about, yeah, wow, this is original too. I like it. You like I don't that? Mind it. Yeah. I like the shape too, yeah, like the silhouette. The shape, yeah. yeah, okay. This is a maybe. Now, where are we going? This is what caught our eye. Yeah, wow. this is what really. This is what really drew us to the home. This yeah. one right here. All right, here. this is a done deal. Like yeah. we're... Let me ask you guys, what's the dream? We came from a small place where we really couldn't have people come, our families come over. Mm -hmm. Kind of want to morph this place into something where we can, you know, have fun with people and just, uh, you know, just get together with our families and friends and have a good time. And we also want to grow our family. <laughs> just, that too. We hope to not right, just be first. the two of us forever. <laughs> <laughs> but... Well, it's a great house. Yeah. And, and it feels fun and I think it's interesting, even though it's from the 50s, it still does feel kind of contemporary and young to me. And what I love about this mid-century design, in particular with this house, is it really lends itself to any design aesthetic. You can do anything you want. I don't know, I adore it. What about these? Do you guys like the look of this or do you want these gone so that you have the view? I like the sunlight. I, yeah. I want A lot of the natural sunlight light, yeah. to come in. Okay. So where you're standing right now is theoretically oh. the dining area? Yes. yes. Okay. So that's what I believe it is. <laughs> Beautifully yeah. placed. We think we, it's the dining area. Okay. So you have some stuff in yes, here. Can we, we kind of see stuff. what you've got in here and kind of talk through it? What about this sure. piano? So, I mean, the story behind this is when we walked into the house, the house was completely empty. Okay. The only thing in this room was the piano. I've always wanted a house where it had like a nice grand piano, but I knew it was very expensive. Right. I couldn't buy it myself. So. We asked them, hey, can we keep this piano? And they said, yeah, sure, you can Some keep it. Oh, amazing. Yeah. So, it's like serendipity. Yeah. yeah, that's really yeah. beautiful. Yeah, exactly. I like that it's part of the past, part of the present, mm -hmm. and then it'll be the future. future. Someday your child will be playing at this piano. That's, I thought I that. know. <laughs> <laughs> the agent telling us that we can keep it um, was, was like a dream. It was a done dream. deal. Yeah, it was a done deal. It was like a dream come true. Wow, guys. This is amazing. <laughs> Listen, you can't find this cabinetry anymore, I'll tell you that. I think a lot of the stuff in here is not working. Yeah. Uh, we like to cook and bake. What we wanted in a kitchen was something to be a little bit bigger. Yeah. Um, when we were in another place, you know, we didn't have much counter space. Yeah. I mean, in here, you don't really see much counter space either. So yeah. it's right. kind of hard to work. We love the natural light yeah. that comes in here and just 
uh, make this place brighter. Yeah. Okay. What have you guys thought about what you have budget-wise to throw into the renovation? Yeah, um, we're looking at around $100,000. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we're, theoretically, we're addressing the entry, that formal living room, mm -hmm. the family room. With the dining area. And the kitchen. Yep. We've got to get a plan together and really figure out how to make this space function for you guys. I remember this moment like of like starting and creating something that's your home for the yeah. first time, mm -hmm. the two of you. Yeah. Um, so we will make sure to take care of you through the process and Thank you. make sure Thank that you. this is a this is the truest expression of your story. Okay? Yeah, You're in good shape. Thank excited. you. Of course. Ashley and Sushil are eager to begin their new chapter together in this home. So we're sending the piano off to safe storage while we get started. I'll never forget that feeling and the vulnerability of putting everything you have into the first space you own with somebody. So you've made the decision to spend your life with somebody and then you have your first thing that you create together is your home. And I think that we have this just great honor of being able to meet Ashley and Sushil, get to know them, understand who they are today and who they aspire to be, and then craft an environment that um, supports that. Hey, Jerry. Yeah? I want to run through Ashley and Sushil's house. You mean favorite design yet. Lucky, lucky you. I'm so excited. We finally get to do something modern and young and contemporary. But what do you think about taking the palette of their spices as like the house colors? You're, you're saying like the color of curry, the color of cardamom, the color of black pepper that's from their family's garden in India, like that's where you want to start? Yeah, I mean, like that's our version of cayenne. Right. I would venture to say that their spice collection is probably one of my favorite possessions that we've encountered yet with people we've met. I don't know, I really, it's one of the few things that we've ever encountered that I've been so inspired by creatively. We've never done this palette and I think this could be absolutely beautiful for them. Yeah, and then we can set the mood right off the bat with this bold cayenne color in the entryway. Could be cool. We have this really gorgeous built-in right now that's in that, what, what I think is kind of would be traditionally the formal entry of that house. And seeing as how they've inherited this really beautiful oak piano, I was, I was wondering if that shouldn't actually go downstairs and become like this really special, like yes, it's like entertaining and young. That. Ashley and Sushil love the history and the style of this home. So in this room, we'll restain the existing built-ins to accentuate the natural wood. We'll replace the shag carpet with hardwood. And with the piano center stage, music will be the focus here. One thing that we haven't resolved yet, which we need to figure out, mm -hmm. is the staircase. Because I know you love that iron railing. I love the idea of it but I don't think it's there yet. Well, it's not safe, number one. Yeah. Like, if we could create some design and have it have it welded oh, inside that you're frame, saying. it saves us money from having to do a custom railing. Well, it also ties in, if we can keep that black iron, it connects to that black iron paint detail that we're talking about doing architecturally around the top of the great room. Okay. In the great room, we really want to echo those original built-ins with some new shelving. We'll add architectural detail with a dark band around the ceiling to create continuity and to help define the vaulted ceiling. I was obsessed initially when we talked to them about maybe doing, like, I mean, we can't afford limestone cabinetry or any, like, stone cabinets, but we could mimic the color of, like, this on the cabinets. I love yeah. that. To make this Ashley and Sushil's dream kitchen, we're gonna bring in completely new appliances, cabinets, and countertops. Using panel fronts on the fridge and dishwasher will give them that sleek, modern look. Finally, a custom island will provide the extra space for preparing those big family meals. Is there a way that we could take those spices? Remember, they were in a cardboard box on their kitchen counter. And is there something special that we could do with them? Yeah, I because wanna display them. But I don't know how we're gonna do it because displays are so. Is it an old bookcase? Is it like maybe we can Is go there find a something. plate rack that we can convert or something? I just don't want it to look like hokey. Right. We've got a lot to do, but I really love this direction. 
Ashley and Sushil have approved our design plan, so our construction crew is preparing for our new hardwood floor. The wall that once separated the kitchen is gone, and a support beam is going in to replace it. Now, Ashley and Sushil will have the open plan they dream of. How much is it? 450. This could be really interesting either in their um, great room next to the sofa. It's a potential. Okay. Let's keep looking. Renzo Rutili. Gorgeous. It's 12,000. Yeah. What's this? I just like that when I found it. To be honest with you, would love to find something for their spices. Like I wish like we could make this into like the spice cabinet in the kitchen. Little shelves and everything all pretty with the colors and, and it's all bronze. We'd have to I love this, negotiate. but the only thing is we would have to have like somebody weld something into the metal frame to hold shelving here. Beautiful. And by the way, easy to use. Look at me. I need a spice. I love it. Okay. Even though this spice rack is not inexpensive, it is vintage, it is metal, it is French. Anything's negotiable, babe. You're good at negotiating. It's a all contender. Right, all right, contender. But it's a really good find. Things are really starting to come together at Ashley and Sushil's house. The monochromatic sage green and the music room is already feeling moody and intimate. It's gonna be the perfect setting to showcase that baby grand piano. In the kitchen, the marble countertops and plaster finished cabinetry will give Ashley and Sushil the modern streamlined look that they're after. And we're going one step further, concealing the appliances in the same plaster finish. They were on the fence when it came to the iron stair railing, but we were able to completely reimagine it and tie it in with the overall design. And the custom dining table not only fits the tight space, but it's a one-of-a-kind heirloom piece that will be in their family for years to come. Oh, look at the forest. Oh, wow. Okay, I see, I see what you guys are saying. Oh, wow. Wow, I can't believe this. Yeah, definitely didn't think this. Oh, I love it. It all flows. Oh, look at this. Oh, this room, I love it. Oh, geez. really? Come on in. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. It looks bigger than I thought. Wow. Like the things. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> look, your guitar. Yeah, I know. Your whole music station. Yeah, it's all like music central. All I pictured was having the piano there, but just everything, all the pieces and how it all came together, the guitar on the side, uh, I think that really brings it together and really shows the, the vibe of the room and what it's really supposed to be used for. You know, we wanted to, obviously, you guys didn't have a lot of things because it's mm -hmm. the beginning mm -hmm. of your journey. Yeah. So we wanted to give you things to start it, but also give you room to continue to fold things into it and make mm -hmm. it your own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was the intention behind everything. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at this. I love this look so at, much. Look up at the ceiling. I know. It's so different. I've seen it. This crazy. is What do you think? Crazy. Really? Like crazy, oh, yeah. <laughs> Complete transformation. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, it doesn't seem like the same house. There's so much detail in this room. So like, much detail. The railings. Oh, the railings are different oh, yeah. too, yeah. Yeah. We kept the original iron. We thought it would feel modern and much cleaner. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we started off with a structure that was already handsome. Look at the dining table. This is actually a custom piece of furniture that we had made for you guys. So it does not exist anywhere yeah. else. Wow. It doesn't look the same at it all. It does not look the same at all. Wow. Look at the spices. <laughs> oh, wow. That's so cool. That's like on display. And that is actually this amazing chest that we found while we were vintage shopping. Uh -huh. And we, your spices were really a huge inspiration for us yeah. with the palette and texture so cool. and like the warmth.